The Sportsman's Table. Brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Remember, by South Carolina, it's a matter of taste. Welcome into this week's Sportsman's Table Recipe. We're here at Frank's Restaurant in Pauley's Island, South Carolina, and my guest is chef owner of Southern Comfort's Restaurant, Greg Metcalf. And I have to tell you, Greg, thank you so much. I, I am just so amazed at what comes out of Polly's Island. And again, you've got another great restaurant to come visit. Well, I'll tell you, Bob, I am impressed myself. Our family's been vacationing down here for about 20 years. And my wife and I just moved down about a year ago and opened up Southern Comfort's Restaurant and Bakery right down the street. We had a restaurant up in the mountains of North Carolina for several years, uh, pretty much the same concept. But just uh, wholesome food, freshly grown, as local as possible can be. But I'll tell you what, we're the new kids on the block. And there are so many great restaurants in Polly's Island. And that's kind of what drew us to, uh, to open a restaurant here oh, to wow. keep us on the cutting edge of what's going on, and they certainly do it around here. Well, what do we got today? Today we're going to do our, uh, one of our specialties. It's the uh, shrimp and grits with our pimento cheese grits. Okay. Uh, we use an Ash County cheese out of North Carolina, and then our fresh local shrimp that we just went down to the docks, uh, Georgetown, Independent Seafoods I go to. I go to the East Bay, East uh, uh, Street uh, docks right down there to get our shrimp. It's usually about twice a week or so. Oh, great. Uh, we've got some assorted peppers over here, some andouille sausage, uh, which, believe it or not, is a uh, Lowe's product here but they make all their own sausages in-house. I got you. And so we gave them a recipe and they make ours for us. So That's it works wonderful. out pretty good. Yeah. But uh, we're going to start off with this and we don't want to overcook our shrimp a little bit so we're really going to start off with our vegetables. Okay. We're going to heat it up a little bit. We've got some butter in here, unsalted butter. And we're going to start off with the peppers a little bit, give us some color. Well, you know, shrimp and grits, when people think of shrimp and grits, they think of South Carolina. Well, interestingly enough, years ago, uh, probably 20-something odd years ago, I worked in Charleston. And uh, it was my first experience of really Southern cooking. And I had a lady out there that had uh, been cooking all of her lives, and she was an older lady, and she taught me this the shrimp and grits. Oh, wow. And, of course, people do it differently. New Orleans has got the tomato broth, and uh, this is going to be more of a Cajun cream broth as far you. as that. So, so how long uh, are you going to cook the vegetables? Well, we're going to cook them. We're going to keep them al dente and keep them real colorful. Okay. But we want to get them going here a little bit for us, so it's probably going to take just a minute or two to get those going. Okay. And then we'll toss in our andouille sausage, and we'll do the shrimp last, actually, because we don't want them to be overcooked. A lot of folks will overcook the shrimp, and then it's dried out, and it just doesn't give you that good fla flavor it's, and texture it's that like you need. It's like eating rubber, right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen that all over, so okay. um, that's one of the nice things. You don't want to ruin a good, fresh product like that that's either true. as well. Exactly. So. We'll now, if folks around. want to log on, tell them your website well, while you're flipping there. Certainly can. www.southerncomfortsrestaurantandbakery.com. Oh, wow. There you go. And uh, like I said, we also run a bakery on part of the restaurant. My wife is the baker. She's won awards for her uh, carrot cake and her chocolate bourbon pecan pie. Oh, my week. Which is one of the biggest Woo. sellers. Yep, absolutely. Oh, my goodness. And then I do the cooking end, so. You know, uh, I can't keep my girlish figure by eating all that stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I would tell you something. Uh, New, Year's, <laughs> New Year's Day, I took a resolution to stop sweets for two months. Oh, so. my goodness. It's been killing me as I look around I, and see all the desserts and I everything know, else. But I, I decided it was time to maybe drop a few and uh, get ready for spring and summer down here in the beach weather. But um, we enjoy what we're doing together. We've been doing this business for about 30 years each. That's wonderful. And uh, originally grew up in the Midwest, and she's a North Carolina girl herself. So um, coming together in uh, Charlotte many years ago to open up a restaurant. And then, we'll, like I said, we have a bakery and cafe that we have in the Valley Cruises, uh, North Carolina area for five years. Well, see, I'll adorn both of you all as certified SC grown. Today. There you go. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Well, we try to, in the summertime especially, it's great being down here because there's such a long growing season. Yeah. So you can really catch all the local farmers markets and the stands and that. We buy a lot of stuff out of Georgetown with the folks and that, so Great. it works out really nice. So we're going to go ahead and throw our shrimp in here. We've got about a dozen shrimp or so. And these are, went ahead and peeled them and deveined them and took the tails off. And then we're going to throw a couple big ones in there for some garnish. You know, just the mixture of the sausage uh, just the vegetables, it just it has a great aroma. Well, you know, interestingly enough, uh, one of the first times I ever had shrimp and grits coming from the Midwest, as you probably well know, grits only come with cheese. Yes. Or, or come with uh, butter or ham. Nobody puts shrimp in their grits. And when I was in Charleston 25 years ago, I said, shrimp and grits, what are you talking about? So we tried some and absolutely fell in love with it, to be honest with you. But this so, is a um, different twist. It's got a lot of color it to is. it. Yeah. It's got a lot of culture to it. And of course, you know, they're using the local products they have. Yeah. And, uh, you know, nice vegetables and sausage and that um, all worked out well and the grits of course you know you got to have your yellowstone ground grits which we get out of uh, dual of mills in uh, columbia south carolina there you go um but i think you know and then we put our own homemade pimento cheese in there as well so it has a little bit of a twist as far as the uh, flavor is concerned now we like lots of uh lots of vegetables and lots of shrimp and lots of sausage in there because it is a meal and so that's the one thing about shrimp and grits is that if you don't put a lot of stuff in there, some people walk away a little hungry, more grits than they do the body of what's going on. Well, they're so. not going to walk away hungry. Uh, yeah, this one. So, <laughs> yeah, well, now we're going to put a little bit of our chef salt in. 
We use a lot of the chef's salt in the restaurant to season our steaks, burgers, seafood, the whole nine yards. Uh, it's got ingredients of like five different items, and we don't tell anybody who they, what it is. You'd have to kill you if you did, just kidding. I got but you. But it's, it's okay. a secret. And then, of course, our... Uh, Cajun spice here a little bit. We also make that in-house too. Everything we do is um, made in the restaurant. We don't have a freezer, so we can't buy anything in and just store it. Basically what we buy in, we buy in by the day or a couple of days and uh, keep it as fresh as we possibly can. Uh, and then we make all of our you know, collard greens, the macaroni and cheese, the meatloaf and all those types of things uh, every single day. So. And that's truly uniquely South Carolina. It there truly is. It yeah. truly is. There's a lot of places that, uh, especially this day and age, it's easy to get hooked on the pre-bought stuff and so sure. on. But the one night thing about a lot of the restaurants here in Polly's Island that I visited is that you could tell they do everything fresh and uh, you know, especially uh, with the qualified chefs that they have down I'll here. Tell you what, I'll now we're going to take a second here and just heat up these grits real quick. Okay. Okay. Hi, right, great. Um, well, we're going to finish off a little heavy cream. Oh, wow. That's going to make it then reduce that down a little bit. Make it a little thicker for us. You know, it's just a good amazing flavor. the compilation of all of those ingredients. Well, it's a, it's it a wonderful, colorful dish too. Yeah, That's it what is. I like about it. Mm. And uh, you know, it's got everything you need in it. You've got your meats and your vegetables, and of course your fresh local shrimp. And so, uh, and of course our Adlu grits. Mm. Absolutely. This is truly a certified SC. Yeah, I have really, uh, you know, grits are a phenomenal product to work with. We do grit cakes and jalapeno grit cakes oh, and all kinds awesome. of good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and just come on off here. Well, folks, if you want a copy of Greg's recipe, just log on to BobRedford.com. Click on the sportsman's table, and right there it'll be. All righty. Mm. And mm -hmm. there we have it. As we call this nice little cream sauce in the south, we're going to put some gravy on there. A little touch. That's wow. right. That's great. To make it the, the way that we'd like it. We're going to wipe the plate just a little bit. Presentation. Yeah. And we're going to take these big ones here and put them right on top so people know. That there's actually yeah, shrimp in there. got some great shrimp. Yeah, I think there they'll find go. out as soon as they bite into it. Yeah. Of course, a little fresh parsley always never hurts. Mm. There we go. And there you have it. Our local... Low Great. Country Southern Shrimp and Thank Grits from Southern so Comforts much. Restaurant and Bakery. Mm, I love it, man. Thank, Thank you, you for Bob. being a guest. It's been a pleasure. I appreciate it. And folks, Certainly. listen, if you'd like more great recipes, just like you saw today, log on to CertifiedSCGrown.com, and it's a matter of taste. We'll be right back here again next week on another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. If you would like more information on South Carolina grown products, visit them online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Remember, buy South Carolina. It's a matter of taste.